Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Asia. You guys, two months. Two. I've been gone for two months. <sighs> for the past two weeks, I've been checking my YouTube and the first time I went to go check it and I saw that I last posted at the end of March, I was mind blown. It hasn't even felt like that long, but I do want to just say apologies for leaving and not saying anything. Um, no major reasons why I took a little break. Didn't, I wouldn't even call it a break, honestly, but we'll get into that in a second. And secondly, thank you to those of you guys who have checked up on me down in the comments, asking if I'm okay, where I'm at, what's going on, where's snow. I've even had some of you guys DM me on Instagram. So thank you for checking up on me. I am fine. I am okay. But let's dive into today's video. We're going to do like a little chat on where I've been, what's going on, and all of that good stuff. Also too, before I start, Thank you to those of you who have stuck around to see that my subscribers have actually still gone up. You guys are still watching my videos. It's like crazy to me. And welcome all new subscribers. So let's just jump into today's video. So you guys, no major reason why I was gone for two months. Like I said, I didn't even realize that it was that long. But first things first, when I first started my YouTube channel, and I always say this, I didn't expect it to go the way that it's going. Like I said, it's still growing even with me being gone. And I kind of just expected to start my channel and to share my journey and kind of just go with the flow. I wasn't expecting to be like consistent or anything like that and once I started seeing my channel grow it made me want to be consistent because I'm like okay you know people are watching what I'm doing they're learning from it they have questions and everything like that so it made me be consistent to the point where I was filming every week which isn't a problem but I just think for me I wasn't expecting it so with that being said I kind of had to fill my cup up before I could continue to be here on YouTube. You know, if I don't have anything to pour from because I'm not nurturing myself, I don't have anything to create, you know? And not that this was bad or anything, but I'm just like, okay, I'm kind of taking YouTube a little bit more serious. Like I said, I'm starting to film consistently and I kind of just took a break so that I could make sure my mind was where it needs to be to create content. I never want to come on camera just not in the mood or just creating things just because that's just not going to work. So I kind of just wanted to take a step back, kind of reroute and think of like a whole nother master plan when it came here to YouTube. So like I said, if I don't have anything to pour from, I don't have anything to give kind of thing. Secondly, with snow, I know some of you guys are going to be angry because the whole point of my channel was stationary and showing behind the scenes of how I built and grown my or was growing my stationary brand. And I'm not going to lie, you guys, after the pop up event that I had in New York, which was my last video, if you guys haven't seen that, make sure you go check it out. I learned a lot from that experience. Um, such a beautiful experience. I'm so thankful and grateful that I did have the opportunity to experience that pop up. Um, for me, it was very important to have like an in-person event so that I could talk about snow and kind of find my target audience. And for the longest time, I was battling with who my target audience is because I'm not gonna lie, at that event, I was talking about snow, I was talking about my brand, why I started it, what it was, the whole, you know, shebang. And I'm not going to lie, I was getting bored with myself. I felt like I was saying what I was saying and that was it. Like I couldn't really brag about snow and I don't mean brag like in a snobby way, but if you have a business, if you have a brand, you should be able to like, you know, really talk about your brand and not to say that I was disappointed in myself or I wasn't proud of snow. 
I just felt like I didn't really have anything to give. Now, snow was meant to be for like planning and organizing. And honestly, that was it. And for me, I want more. So like I said, I was battling with finding my target audience because here on YouTube and even on my Instagram, a lot of my target audience is small business owners, those like myself. And I feel like a lot of people were following me for what I was doing and not what I was selling. And I'm totally fine with that. So for the pop-up event, I wanted to be able to like find my target audience, people that only saw what I was selling and not behind the scenes, right? And it didn't really go that way. Cause like I said, I wasn't really, I wasn't even really into it. I was, I was interacting with the customer, but I wasn't really connecting with them. I couldn't connect my brand to a target audience because there was really nothing there with snow when i thought about it it's really nothing um yes it's stationary yes it's meant to plan and organize but for me i felt like i needed a little bit more so like i said i'm so so sorry for those of you guys who do follow me for my stationary business the behind the scenes and all of that stuff but snow is changing um down to the business name so snow will no longer be it just didn't mean anything it had no meaning it didn't stand for anything so i basically had a business that didn't mean anything i'm going to be honest with you even down to the name the name didn't have a meaning so during my two-month break i was really really trying to figure out what it was that i was doing if I'm going to be on a journey, I want to be on a journey where I'm growing, you know? When you have a business or you have a brand, you should always be elevating. You shouldn't expect to stay the same. You should be expecting to elevate your work, to grow your brand, to add on to and everything like that. So Snow is no longer. It is now called Social Hours Studio. And for those of you who don't know, I love to talk. I love to talk. I love to help. And Social Hours is just going to be that. So one part of Social Hours is going to be digital products. I still want to have planning essentials, but now they're going to be as digital products. I'm not going to be making or shipping anything out. You'll just be able to purchase, download, print out yourself, and that's just that. So it's also going to be geared more towards small business owners because like I said, here on YouTube, I had to realize that my target audience is you guys, whether you're here to whether you were here to shot with snow or if you were here to just see the behind the scenes or just support whatever the case may be you guys are my target audience within the past what four months before i took this break i was really battling with like what's going on here you know what i'm saying and like i said you guys are my target audience so for small business owners my digital products are going to be geared towards like project management business goal planning. I'm still going to have the daily and the weekly planner and the collection is small now, but as time goes on, I do plan on expanding it. So I hope that this is going to be something that is helpful. As you guys know, Snow came from me working on another business, which I'm still working on that business. I've been working on it for the past two years, but it's something that I really wanted to take my time with. But Snow came from me working on that business, realizing how organized and how I was planning everything. That's kind of how Snow came. And it's just funny that Social Hour Studio is now coming from Snow, but mainly you guys. Like I said, being here on YouTube and being more consistent and feeling like I'm kind of helping other small business owners, that's what Social Hour Studio is coming from. So along with Social Hour Studio, I still plan on doing my brand calls. I remember it back in one of my videos you guys it's been so long but i remember back in one of my videos i did introduce brand calls where you're able to book a call with me for an hour and we'll just kind of go over your business goals or if you're just getting started and you not you don't know kind of what direction to go in you need help 
I have brand calls where, like I said, we'll talk. And at the end of the call, I will give you a detailed plan that you will always have. It'll be dedicated to you. And it's just my way of being able to connect with you guys more down in the comments. There's only but so much that I can say. And I'm not going to lie, sometimes when I do interact with you guys, I want to follow up. I want to see if you guys actually started that business or if you kept going, um, what ideas and launches you guys have had. So this is my way of kind of connecting with you guys more and being more of a help than just being on camera. Because also, too, I feel like... I'm getting on camera and I'm kind of like showing you guys what I'm doing and it's kind of like a look at me, this is what I'm doing type of thing. And I feel like there is no substance to that almost when I have people saying like, oh, you're inspiring me, you're inspiring me to want to start or to keep going. And it's like by me just getting on camera showing you guys what I'm doing isn't going to really cause you guys to take action, you know? So it's like, if I have these brand calls and you book and we kind of sit and chat, it's my way of kind of making sure that you guys are actually taking some action. Yes, you guys, I'm introducing Social Hour Studio to you guys today. I will have a whole new Instagram as well. Instagram will always be linked down below. I will also have it up on the screen if you guys want to check that out. Everything is still brand new. I'm still working on it. I'm still working on the website. But for the past two months, I've kind of just really been making sure, like I said, I'm on a journey where I'm fulfilled. So that way I can pour out into you guys and on a journey of just growing. That's the fun part about having a business or building a brand. You should always be looking for ways to grow, to elevate. So apologies for missing for two months and apologies for kind of switching gears on you guys but for those of you guys that will be able to benefit from this i can't wait for the new journey in the next upcoming videos you guys will see me behind the scenes working on my website creating different content for my instagram and kind of just learning more about what this will be it hasn't launched or anything like that but um you guys will see what i have been working on it's gonna kind of like go backwards <laughs> uh but i just wanted to sit down and kind of give you guys the change because like i said i came back onto my youtube studio and mind blown that you guys stuck around i have new subscribers and you guys are still just interacting checking up on me like that's why I love it here. So I promise the next time if I need to take a break, I will let you guys know. Like I said, this whole YouTube thing was definitely new for me. So yeah, you guys, that is all that I have for today's video as a little update where I've been, what's going on, what happened to snow. Snow is no longer. Let's welcome Social Hours Studio. Like I said, in upcoming videos, you guys will get to see more, learn a little bit more, and I hope that you guys continue to stick around. I really think it's going to be beneficial for yourself and mine. So that is all that I have for today's video. As always, thank you so much. If you watched all the way to the end, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you guys join. Like, comment, share, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you.